My name's Glyn Howardson and I'm a Professor of Human and Applied Physiology at Northumbria University in Newcastle. Hascat berries are a really interesting group of fruits and vegetables because they're really high in antioxidants and anti-inflammatory properties and they have the potential to modulate vascular function. So for us, who are interested in optimising human performance, these sorts of interventions can be really helpful in improving athletic performance. So what we were interested in looking at was whether the Hascat berry could potentially improve endurance performance in runners. And these guys were capable of running sort of anywhere between 15 minutes and 25 minutes for a five kilometer time trial. And what we did is we split this group into two. So we had a placebo control, and then the other half of the group was allocated to the Hascat berries. And we asked these guys to do a number of tests on the treadmill, and then we looked at their performance. So the participants were given six grams of the powder in a Greek yogurt, which made it really palatable and really easy to consume. And that was consumed for six days prior to the test and also the day of the test. So the main highlights of the study were that endurance performance at low intensities was improved, so you became more efficient with the oxygen consumption that you were using. But importantly, when we did the maximum test, we showed that there was an improvement in the time to exhaustion. What's also interesting is that your five kilometre time trial was also reduced. So in other words, you got faster. We observed an increase in speed of 0.25 kilometres an hour, which doesn't sound very much, but actually that translated to 21 seconds over five kilometres, which is around about 2%. So it sounds trivial, but actually most runners would be delighted to get 21 second improvement in their 5K time trial. Our study looked at running endurance performance, but conceptually, this could have good translation to other endurance sports. So those people that are doing long distance running, cycling, rowing, all those sorts of activities which are longer in duration and have an endurance component could potentially benefit from this sort of intervention.